Hi, everybody. As you can see, I have a special guest with me today. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me live <laughs> is, my, person. <laughs> yeah, is my mom, who has been here with me every step of the way. Mm -hmm. She is my support person while I am here in Philadelphia. And it has been a great experience so far. It has gone well. Mm -hmm. So, um, tell me a little about, bit about the first part of today. <laughs> so, I'm having to navigate through traffic in downtown Philadelphia. <laughs> Not my forte. One-way streets. One-way streets. Anyways, great, Wendy's a great navigator. She's got, the, got it on the phone, but I'm driving, of course, and going through the parking lots, dropping her off, parking, doing all the good things, and... Um, so, manhandling a huge wheelchair. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> it's a bit fun, but she's doing amazing. She is awesome. She's made it really easy to be her support, and I'm glad that I can do that for her. Bless you. I'm gonna let her tell you about the uh, visit today. Yes, yes, very good visit. Um, so it was our first follow-up visit, and we were able to meet with the doctor, and she was able to just kind of. Look and see that Cam is doing excellent. Um, so his ventricles in his brain are still very enlarged. This is not a big like ordeal. This we kind of expected that. So we are still praying for the dumbbell effect for sure, um, and hopefully to see a decrease in those ventricles before he's born. At this point, they do say that he is a strong candidate for a shunt, which would require an extra surgery for Cam when he was born. So that's a little little hard for the mama, <laughs> but I understand. I, I want what is best for him, and I, um, and I know that that's a possibility. So we're just going to keep praying, keep praying, keep praying that those ventricles begin to decrease in size. They, however, notice that Cam has awesome tone and muscle movement in his legs which is huge because part of the spina bifida is sometimes there is that paralysis um, and with Cam's level it could be in his knees and ankles but the way he's kicking around in there <laughs> I don't know so we will see um, and everything was really good I checked out fine uh, my incisions looking great and so there wasn't any bad news, which was really good. We weren't expecting any, and we didn't get any. So that was wonderful. And it was just great to see Cam. It was great to see him kicking around and all that good stuff. So um, I do want to share one scripture that um, my family and I have just really believed on this whole time. And it's from the Message Version, and it comes from Psalms 139. And, of course, I've replaced it with Cam's name. <laughs> but um, the verse says, Oh, yes, you shaped me first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, you're breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit. How I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All of the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared before I'd even lived one day. And we pray that scripture every night. We put Cam's name in it and we just really pray over it so strongly that God is in control and we every time I go to appointment beforehand I just pray Lord whose report will you believe we shall believe the report of the Lord and the doctors can say all they want and people can tell me all the different stories but I believe that Kim has a miraculous story that is yet to be told and his testimony will spread to the ends of the earth and we are just so excited to see everything that God is doing I mean it's just been one miracle after the other I mean it's so funny I, I know mom and I have mentioned to each other over and over God cares about the little things from parking spots <laughs> to on time appointments to just every little piece of the puzzle it's just been 
overwhelming and it's been so great and I'm so thankful that you're on this journey with us again we cannot say thank you enough for your prayers it is I feel like some days the only thing that keeps us motivated and strong and um, you are loved and I am so gracious for all of you um, I will be updating you soon so until then love you guys bye